Hey guys, today I'll be showing you all of the dresses I've made throughout the months. This one being the first one that I ever made. It's just made out of fabric and hot glue. And I didn't know how to make sleeves, so it's a halter top type. But I put Velcro on it so it's easier to open and close. Which it's kind of fitted to a teddy bear because I use my teddy bears when I sew just so I have an exact idea of size. Now they all measure from 12 to 16 when it comes to measurement of a stuffed animal. They will fit an American Girl doll because that's what I used in order to base my measurements. Now this one was a hard one to do because the fabric likes to fray every time it's cut and I didn't know how to sew at the time nor do I have the fabric uh, fabric uh, fabric glue that prevents it from fraying. But I did learn with the type of material that frays you could just take a lighter and heat it up and it should stop it from fraying. But I don't like doing that method. That's number one of the thing. Next I'll show you her figure skating outfit. Which is also done with fabric and hot glue. Now I did try and sew the flower on there. To no avail. So I just gave up on the sewing with this one and hot glued everything. Now it does have tool and ruffle, which was hard to do because hot glue makes the fabric go hard. Everything on it is glued, so it kind of pops right back up when I push it down, but it does hold its shape. But it's a hand wash item only. Same with the other dress. Every outfit I make is hand wash only. Except for the sew it, the ones that are made with embroidery. Like sewing involved. They can be washed. But the others cannot. And here's the first dress I've ever sewn. Now I do have a habit of putting holes in the back of the dresses for the stuffed animal's tail. And I continue to do that just so it's easier to hold it on them. I also have a skirt here that I've made. And the hole in it is not supposed to be there. This is just from wear and tear of constantly stretching it out to put it on to the stuffed animal. Now I do plan to reuse the lace from this. Where it's a scrap piece. I do plan to work with it again eventually. And I do have a scrap piece of fabric here that I'm going to make into a top for my stuffed animal. I just haven't really planned it out yet. Now I am planning to sell some of my designs but not the outfits themselves. Now here's the first dress I tried to make with the felt. As you can see I did a neckline using white felt and I also did sleeves and like the princess type dress at the bottom but it's better suited for an American girl doll than it is for a stuffed animal but it might fit an elf on the shelf which would actually be nice if it did I never tried it on an elf on the shelf because we recently lost our elf on the shelf. 
And I do have a vest that I worked on. It's just an American Girl doll vest, though. So nothing really impressive about it. I just removed the sleeves off it. And I added Velcro to it because it didn't have any fasteners. I do plan to maybe add some lace sleeves later on in the future. I just haven't done it yet. And the shirt Snowy's wearing is one I made yesterday. I just haven't had time to film it. But what I did was I took this part first and then sewed the lace on and I used lace that was already tiered and just stitched it to the row of that and just for the skirt I just threw an American Girl doll skirt on her now I do plan to make a skirt for her in the future I just haven't gotten around to it because I've been busy with other things. But I will get around to it eventually. And I do plan to make some more outfits in the future. Which would be nice. Please subscribe and like this video if you want to see more. And thank you for watching.